soldiers can die if, if you can't maneuver and you end up stuck somewhere. Since Hannibal crossed uh, the Alps with elephants, uh, mobility is always a challenge for vehicles. Whether it's getting stuck in 1917 in the fields in France or Afghanistan, when vehicles become immobilized, troops are put at risk and the mission is jeopardized. It's a subject NATO has been exploring for years, how to predict mobility. You have to rely on your mobility to bring troops in to the front or to bring uh, supplies to the front. You want to have the best mobility you can have. There are many different factors that affect mobility, the design of the vehicle, the many different types of terrains and soil parameters, as well as moisture, vegetation, temperature and seasonality effects. If we look at the NATO countries, those soils vary up from, all the way from a dry sand on a beach somewhere in France up into high organic materials and clays in places like Estonia and Poland and, and the northern Baltics. The project that we're working on has to cover all of those and we have to be able to model that and know what's going to happen to the vehicle when it drives in. NATO has a model for predicting mobility. It combines soil, vehicle and terrain data, but it dates back to the 70s. A task group is now developing a new model to accommodate developments in technology. The current systems are different nowadays. Our vehicles have stability control systems, they have uh, tire pressure systems, and all those types of systems make a difference in your mobility off-road. The next generation NATO reference mobility model will not be a specific computer code, but a set of standards and benchmarks which NATO nations can use to make better informed decisions regarding vehicle design, overall mission planning and acquisitions. So that's why this NATO reference mobility model is so important is from an acquisition perspective when we buy systems we need to understand how good they are from a mobility perspective but also then operationally we need to be able to understand how well can I go from point A to point B, can I carry out this operation with this vehicle or a set of vehicles. So if I can picture myself as a commander or a platoon leader trying to plan a mission within a certain time period, so if I can understand other than just looking at a map what that terrain looks like on the ground and somebody can tell me for sure that I can maneuver these elements through that area within a certain time period, that, that's the most important piece to me. At the end of the day it's all about supporting the warfighter, making them more effective, keeping them safe and letting them come home alive and in good health after uh, we ask them to do our nation's work. <laughs>